Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send WhatsApp messages to your newly created Facebook leads. So imagine this, you have generated a new lead called as John. John is your newly created lead. So you want to thank John on WhatsApp. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you can copy all the data from Facebook forms and thank John on WhatsApp manually. Or you can just bring in some automation. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Facebook and WhatsApp. So what Pabli Connect will do is, anytime a new lead is added in Facebook, it will automatically send a message on WhatsApp. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can build your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and here you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Facebook to WhatsApp. Facebook to WhatsApp. Okay, and then just click on create. So when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook. So here you have two choices, Facebook comments and Facebook lead ads. So we want to receive the data when a new lead ad is made in Facebook. So let's make it as Facebook lead ads. Now in the trigger event, here also you have two choices, new lead legacy and new lead. How about we make it as new lead? Okay, so new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new lead is generated in Facebook form, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are only two lead events, uh, two trigger events, that is new lead and new lead legacy. Now, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new lead is made in Facebook lead forms. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate Facebook to Pabli Connect. So let me just click on connect with Facebook. Okay, in the new credentials, just again connect with Facebook lead ads. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so as you can see here, you have two blanks, one for page and one for the lead generation form. So as you can see in the page, it is showing many different pages. So basically, these are all the pages that is present in my Facebook form. So as you can see, these are all the pages. Okay, so let us let me just show you. So these are all the pages that is present in my Facebook. So I have made all of them. Now all these pages is being reflected in this uh, in this drop down. So as you can see, these are all the pages that is present here is simply being reflected here. This is because Pabli Connect is now integrated with Facebook. So what if I create a new page? So let me just uh, create a new page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on page, create a page. Okay, so the name of the page is uh, true review to true tech review. Okay, so this is the name of my page and this is about science and technology. Okay, so I'm going with science and technology and let me just uh, click on create a page. Okay, so as you can see a new page called as a true tech review has been created. So what I'm going to do here is I'm taking you to Pabli Connect and when I click on refresh, I can expect to find this newly created page in the drop down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on refresh. Okay. So let's have a look. Do we have a page? Yes, we do have a page called as True Tech Review. Okay, so we have selected that page. Now there is one minor problem. As you can see in the lead generation form, it is returning as blank. There is no lead generation form because uh, this page is just has been created. So I haven't made any uh, form for this page. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I have created a page solely for uh, 
generating leads. So the name of the page is AnyTech Solution. So I have selected this. Okay, so as you can see, there is a form called as lead capture form. Okay, there is one form called as lead capture form. Okay, so let me just show you. So let me just uh, take you to this uh, page called as uh, AnyTech Solution. The name of the page is AnyTech Solution. Okay, so this is the page AnyTech Solution. And I'm going to publishing tools. Okay, and here I'm going to find my lead form. So this is my lead form library. So we are using a business suite of uh, Facebook. Now, if you're using a simple Facebook profile, it's also work, it will also work fine. Okay, so this is the form lead capture form. Okay, and as you can see in the lead generation form, it is showing it as lead capture form. Okay, now usually what happens is when you have selected a triggering app as well as the trigger event and you connect with that uh, triggering app, uh, webhook URL will be provided to you and you basically copy this webhook URL into that triggering app and receive start receiving the data. Now here we won't do that. All you have to do is just click on save and send test request. It will fetch the data of the recently created lead. Okay, I repeat again. When I click on save and send test request, it will generate the data of the recently created lead. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to my form. Okay, so this is the form. Okay, so I'm selecting this one. Then I'm going to just click on test form. So this is uh, where I enter my lead. So the name of the lead is, uh, let's say, Aaron. Okay, the last name is uh, Manuel. The email, so this is Aaron's email, the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is the phone number. Okay, so we have entered the phone number. So this is the first name, this is the last name, this is the email, and this is, of course, the phone number. So let me just click on next, click on submit. Okay, so a lead called as Aaron Manuel has been generated in this particular form. So when I go to public connect and when I click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of this recently created lead. Let me show you. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so let me just scroll down. As you can see, we do have the data. So the first name is Aaron. The last name is Manuel. This is the email and this is the phone number. Excellent. So basically, now we have to send a thank you message to this guy via WhatsApp. Now to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as chat API. So we will be using chat API to send WhatsApp messages. So let's make it as chat API and in the action event, since we only are interested in sending a message, so let's make it as send a message. Okay, send message is an action event. There are many more action events like create groups and files and links and location and all those details. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send a message on WhatsApp. So just click on connect with chat API. In the new credentials, we have to get the API URL as well as the token. Now to get those details, let's have a visit to our chat API. Okay, so this is my chat API account. So all I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to copy this API URL. This is the URL you want, copy this and simply paste it here. Okay, so now coming to the part called as the token, I'm going back here and just copying these characters. So this is my token. I have copied this and simply paste it here. Easy. Okay, so we have entered the API URL. We have also entered the token. So all I'm going to do here is just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from Facebook and send it on WhatsApp. Now, in the contact group, there is something you should know since uh, we are sending it to an individual. We don't have to enter any data here, so we are leaving it as blank. Now, coming to this part called as the phone number. So, we are going to map in the detail. Now, before you map in the phone number, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with this. Okay, so let's start mapping. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. When we click this, you will find all the data that we have received from Facebook. So this is our phone number and we have mapped it. Easy. Now coming to the message. So the message is, uh, hello, Mr. And then we, or slash, miss. And then we just map in the name. So the name is Aaron. Yes. Aaron and enter a space manual. Thank you. Thank you for 
filling out our form okay so this is a very simple message hello mr aaron uh, manuel thank you for filling out our form excellent let's enter a full stop okay so when i click on save and send test request it will send this data to this particular phone number so let's have a look so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the whatsapp message has been sent so let me just show you okay so this is the whatsapp message hello mr uh, miss aaron manuel thank you for filling out our form excellent so the presence of this message shows that we have successfully integrated facebook and whatsapp with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but before we do that let me just uh, minimize this uh, trigger window what i'm going to do here is i'm going to explain you the whole process so this is the whole mechanism in a nutshell first you integrated facebook to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to chat apis to send the whatsapp message so now there is a perfect flow of data between facebook and chat api okay so let me just uh, go back to my facebook forms i'm opening up the form so i'm going to fill in the details so these are the details so the first name is elon and the last name is uh, musk and this is the email Elon Musk Tesla guy 123 at the rate gmail.com so this is the email and this is the phone number okay so we have uh, entered the phone number so this is the first name last name and this is the email and this is the phone number of Elon Musk okay so let me just click on next okay so as you can see Elon Musk has submitted the form so let's have a look in whatsapp messages of Elon Musk did he receive any confirmation message or a thank you message from me okay yes he has got the message excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better just visit our website www.pabli.com it's awesome thanks